All right, so we've been talking a lot in class about Microsoft Word. Uh, you've been doing examples of business letters. You've done examples of charts. You've done examples of outlines. Now you're going to be doing um, and columns and tables. For today's lesson, I want you to look at keyboard shortcuts. Now what a shortcut is, um, we have different examples for things we can do. So if I use my mouse, I can go up here to this paragraph I've already typed in. I can highlight this by holding down my left mouse key button and dragging the um, prompter across that until it all shows blue. I can go up here to paragraph and I can go down here to line spacing and I can change it to 1.5 lines. Okay, or if I want to do double, I can go back in, I can go double. Okay, the other thing I can do, I'm going to just go back here again. All right, still have it highlighted. I can hold down my control, which is CTRL, and I can press 2. That gives me double space. I can press 5, which gives me a space and a half, or I can press 1, which gives me single space. If I want everything to be bold, I can go control B makes everything in, that is highlighted bold. Control B unbolds this. And if you're watching up here, these buttons do the same thing. So I can go control B. I can italicize. Or I can go control I. Does the same thing. I can go control U. And you notice when I come over across this, it'll actually show me what my keyboard shortcut is. If I want to superscript something, so let's say I want to put what the formula for water is here. I want to subscript. So subscript means it's down below. So I'm going to go capital H and then I'm going to subscript the two. Now I can either bring my mouse up here and I can press the two, the button here, and I get my two, press my button and put my O up there. Or I can go Again, you see the shortcut key here to that. I can go control plus key. Now my subscript is on. As you can see, the button's now on because it's highlighted. Two, and I can go control plus to turn off my subscript and go zero. Same thing if I want a superscript, which means that the, the two is going to be on the top. So if I can go CO, so I'm going to go carbon dioxide, CO, and I'm going to superscript it. I can use the button here by using my mouse, two, or I can go control shift plus. And that's going to turn my superscript on, two. Control script plus, again, to turn that off. If I want to make water, remember we had everything in all capitals, I can go control, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. And I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to go Control Shift A will make everything all caps. Control Shift A will take everything back to the way it was before. If I want to select everything, I can go Control A and everything is selected. So there's some examples of keyboard shortcuts. I'd like you to go through and follow the rest of the exercise now and find some shortcuts of your own that you like to use.